Honorable Ernest Seller, Minister for Tourism, Investment, Culture, Creative Industries and Information, and I'm from St. Lucia. Good morning, Minister, and a pleasure to see you here today. Um, you've recently stepped into the role after a successful election there in the Caribbean. What are your aspirations as Minister of Tourism? I think our vision, first and foremost, is, is to ensure that we have a tourism industry that is sustainable, that can withstand the various shocks, whether natural disasters, whether it is economic challenges, but we have a tourism industry that is robust, that can recover quickly from wherever there are any shocks. But also important for us is to ensure that the industry offers many more opportunities to, I mean, to as many people as possible. We do not think that the tourism industry should be seen as restricted to a few, both in terms of participation ownership and enjoying the, the benefits of it. We want to introduce a tourism industry that offers authentic experiences to our visitors and for that to be successful it has to come from the people itself. So you will find over the next few years in St. Lucia a program which seeks to introduce as much as possible authentic experiences of St. Lucia. It's no secret the last 18 months have been very challenging for the tourism industry around the world. Where are St. Lucia and the Caribbean more generally with the reopening of the tourism sector? Well, firstly, St. Lucia has been doing very well with the recovery. Since we reopened in June, we've seen very, very encouraging numbers. August was our best yet month for arrivals from the United States. We've seen increased numbers from the United Kingdom. And only a few days ago, Air Canada resumed flights to St. Lucia. Canada is our fourth largest market, and we expect robust arrivals from, from Canada. So we are seeing quite a lot happening. The cruise ships are starting to come back, and we're going to see increasing ships. And our numbers for the winter season is quite, quite um, exciting. We are certainly looking forward to, to a, a winter season that almost well, not parallel in 2019, but surely will be up there. At the Caribbean level, we are also seeing a very robust revival. We are seeing in some of the islands um, very high numbers that they had experienced before um, COVID, but surely um, not as high as before COVID, but surely returning to those levels. And how about the products on the ground there? You've been working with your private sector partners to invest while the market might have been a little bit subdued. So you're going to come back stronger than ever? Well, that, that's the plan. And we are very aggressive now in ensuring that some of the projects get off the ground. And I mentioned earlier um, our village tourism program, which we are really um, seeking to introduce as quickly as possible. We want in the post-COVID for St. Lucia to be a better destination with a better product. Uh, and surely we see a lot of investments coming over the next few months in more hotel plans we see in more product development and we, uh, we plan to ensure that when COVID finally op allows people to open up as, as much as possible that St. Lucia will be so well placed to offer a better product. A key segment of your promotion campaign here in Dubai for Expo 2020, a lot of money and investment has gone into your offering there at the Pavilion. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, the pavilion is really, you know, a miniature St. Lucia in many respects. When you enter the pavilion, you actually feel St. Lucia. I mean, the, the setting, the decor, the look and feel tells you that you are in St. Lucia. Um, you will see manifestations and, and various, you know, presentations that will tell you about the essential personality of St. Lucia, the sites that you will see, the products that are available. Even the individuals we have in the pavilion are persons from St. Lucia. You know, we actually ensure that we had individuals who knew about St. Lucia, knew about what we were offering, whether in CIP, in investment, in tourism, in the products that we produce in St. Lucia. And surely, if you do go to the pavilion, and I invite everyone in the UAE and neighboring countries to visit the pavilion, and you will see the best of St. Lucia. Just finally, let me offer you my congratulations. Recognized the Caribbean's leading honeymoon destination yeah. by the World Travel Awards. How does it feel to have won there? Well, I think it's always exciting for us to win. We've been winning for the last few years. And I think St. Lucia is just reaffirming its, its position at the pinnacle of that niche market that we have so much to offer in St. Lucia when it comes to um, weddings and honeymoons. And we believe this is an affirmation of the quality of the product that we offer. Congratulations, and I appreciate your time today, Minister. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.